Hi, I'm Jason McComb-Smith, author of Elemental Design Patterns, and I'm here with the second of three tips that I've been asked to give you when keeping in mind when reading this book. Uh, the title of this one is Building Software Molecules. As I mentioned in the intro, uh, one thing to keep in mind is that a composition of the Elemental Design Patterns, or the EDPs for short, is key in applying them in your everyday practitioner. And the key to learning how to move into the, uh, the larger design patterns community. Uh, the elemental design patterns by themselves are critical, they are fundamental, and they are foundational to everything that we do. However, they are essentially the atoms. They're the, uh, the tiniest building blocks of software design. And if you want to be producing you know, the latest and greatest work, you need to be putting them together in well-formed ways that allow you to produce that work. The key to this is understanding that uh, elemental design patterns, like any other design pattern, uh, are concepts, and they have uh, they have unique properties to them. Uh, each one is going to be distinct and different from all the others. Uh, James Copeland calls this, you know, the quality without a name. It's sort of this Zen approach to design patterns. And what the elemental design patterns do is they bring to light those qualities that to date we have not really, you know, we have not really uh, discussed or identified. Uh, they do so in a well-formed way that allow us to produce methodologies for combining them together in, again, well-formed ways. This is the engineering of software engineering. This is where we bring to bear the formalisms that uh, sit behind the scenes of everything that we do, but the very formalisms that we all know we should be using, but we can't stand using. Um, I've been there, I don't like using them either. So the elemental design patterns are a, uh, have a formal basis and a formal foundation, uh, mathematical foundation, that we don't have to use. We don't, we don't have to be aware of the mathematics and the formalisms behind the scenes. But those formalisms give us this unique opportunity for uh, defining exactly how our bits and pieces, these, these atoms, connect together. Uh, they d we have a, a description and definition for the, uh, essentially like the, you know, the covalent ionic bonding of chemistry. We have uh, similar, you know, well-formed ways of connecting these together. So as you're reading the, the book, uh, you know, keep in mind that these are the atoms. And you'll see, this, uh, you'll, you'll see this presented in the Elemental Design Patterns chapter, the initial one where it's talking about uh, how they came about and, and what they mean. And the following chapters in the book will walk you through this composition. It will show you how they connect together, uh, introduce a new graphical notation for you, the pattern instance notation that is a way of quickly diagramming how these concepts fit together and uh, how, they, how they create larger and larger and larger concepts and abstractions. And it's it's a, a a wonderfully rich world that you can build out of these tiny little bits and pieces. In fact, the uh, the formalisms that the EDPs are built on are so foundational to object oriented programming that anybody anywhere who writes an object oriented program is using the EDPs. They just don't realize it, and they may not have had names for the concepts and the tricks that they've been using, but now they do. The formalisms underlying all of this are uh, solid, robust, and extremely messy to work with, which is why I've done all the work for you. You can uh, simply read the higher level EDP descriptions. They look just like the rest of the design patterns literature. And relax and not have to worry about all the messy stuff under the hood. But do keep in mind that uh, connecting these together is the key. Uh, later in the book, after you've been introduced to the notation, you will have examples of how to build all the way up to the more traditional design patterns that you may see from the Gang of Four, such as Decorator and Visitor and 
composite and things like that, built using the EDPs as the fundamental, fundamental building blocks. And uh, it walks you right through it, takes you step by step, um, shows you every piece in a way that uh, you won't get lost in, the, in all the detail. And from there, the sky's the limit. Keep building new molecules out of these little tiny pieces and keep building great software using them. That's all I ask.